This is my August empties for 2015 and I really didn't have a lot of makeup this month but let me go through and show you what I have anyways. So first first of all I have two makeup items from my Finish by by Fall challenge that I'm doing. I'll link that down in the description box below but I have the Makeup Forever HD Loose Setting Powder here and I also have the Buxom Full on lip polish in Tanya. So there are those two. And honestly, I don't think I would repurchase either one of these in the future. Then I have a little uh, eyeshadow thing here that I'm going to declutter. This is the Stila Magnificent Metals Eyeshadow, and this one is in Kitten. I have hit pan on this. This has been in a couple of my favorites videos. That is it there. It's really pretty, but it started to dry out. It's really chunky. It flakes off the eyelids. So as much as I love it, I, I'm just going to have to get rid of it. So there is a swatch right there. You can see it's really highly reflective, very metallic looking, but it's just, it's a hot mess on the eyes, so I'm just going to toss this guy. And then I have a couple perfume samples here. I have three of the Versace Bright Crystal perfume samplers. I really like this perfume. My husband really doesn't like it very much, so when I can score these little sprayer samples, I pick them up. And then I have one of this Marchesa perfume. I'm not sure where I got this from, but this was a nice fragrance too. I have the Up and Up brand of the nail polish remover. I guess this is the advanced formula. It's supposed to be like the Q-Tex one. Um, it worked fine. I really can't tell the difference between store brand and name brand nail polish remover, so I would totally pick this one up again. This is the Healthy Deodorant from La Vanilla. This one's just in the Pure Vanilla fragrance. I pick these up from Derm Store because Derm Store usually has a 30% off or 20% off coupon floating around somewhere. So um, this is a really nice deodorant without aluminum. I really like to pick these up during the winter time when it's colder and it's not so hot out. So the vanilla fragrance is definitely one that I recommend and I'll probably pick it up again in the future at some point. Here's a little pocket back from Bath & Body Works. This one's in Zippity Fruit Punch. I really like the flavor on this one. They have since changed the design of the pocket backs, so I need to go pick up a few more, but I like keeping these around in my purse. I have a couple random items here, like this one. This is the Colgate Optic White. I, sometimes I throw them in, sometimes I don't, but this is my favorite toothpaste in the entire world. And then I also wanted to talk about these. These are from Crest. These are those white strips that you can put on your teeth to whiten them. I'll usually use them like once or twice a month because my teeth get really sensitive, but I wanted to mention these. These are the noticeably white, white strips. I would say out of all the white strips, these ones make my teeth the least sensitive. So if you're in the market for some of these and you have sensitive teeth, um, check these out. These aren't as expensive as like the professional crest ones, so they're really nice. This is a little packet of Kleenexes, but the reason why I throw it in is because I keep this under my sink because I use them with these little Glam Glow pods. These are the Bright Mud Eye Treatment from Glam Glow. They have the little pods here, and I usually just use one pod for both eyes, and I'll get two treatments out of the little things like this. So I do notice a slight difference in the puffiness underneath my eyes. I really can't tell if they brighten at all, but if I have really puffy eyes in the morning, I'll definitely pop out a little packet of these. I have quite an array of skincare products. So first off, these are the Pacifica Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. I picked these up at Target because they were, I don't know if they were marked wrong or what, but they were like $1.17. So I definitely stocked up on a couple of these. I think I have one more pack of these left in my back stock and then I need to go and pick up some new ones, but they were okay. Um, I would say if they weren't on sale, I probably would not pick them up in the future if that helps you out at all, but they're okay for the time being. I do have a pack of these fragrance-free pure and gentle wipes. There's 90 wipes in here. These are just baby wipes, 
but I use these for swatches and cleaning up my little makeup area when I'm done putting my makeup on. And I've really been enjoying these for if I'm using an eye brush and I don't want to wash them in between each use, I'll just pull one of these out and run my makeup brush over the top of them and it gets them pretty clean. So it's just a little shortcut on cleaning my makeup brushes. <laughs> so I have that. Probably one of my absolute favorite skincare products ever. This is the Triad Pads from Arcona and I pick these up from Derm Store. Usually when there's a 30% off discount code going around. There was just one recently and I picked up another one of these. There's, what is there, 45 little pads in here and I've been cutting them in half. It's like an exfoliating side and then you can flip it over and it's a little bit smoother but after I wash and cleanse my face, I'll run this over. It's like a toner. It just balances the pH of your skin and it keeps breakouts at bay. So I really love these and I highly recommend them. They smell amazing and I'll probably repurchase these for a very, very long time. Here's a couple Clinique products. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This is my all-time favorite face lotion. I use this daytime and nighttime, so... Um, I, I had to even take the top off and scoop out what was on the inside of this. So I cleaned these out because they're pretty expensive. I think they're $26 or $26.50 now, but always a repurchase. And then I had this little mini Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. This was all right. It's probably nothing I would purchase on its own, but I believe this came with a gift with purchase from buying one of these face lotions. And it looks like there's product stuck up at the top, but it's actually opaque at the top and it goes clear towards the bottom. So I cleaned this one out entirely. It, it, it was all right. I have two little samples of the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay eye concentrate and the reason why I have two of these is because it's $85 and over the past couple months I just have been switching back and forth between these samples and my regular eye cream. I'm definitely thinking about picking up this eye cream in the next month or two but anyway uh, really love this stuff. If you haven't tried it out yet pick up a sample from Sephora next time you're in there. This is the Biore Self-Heating One Minute Mask. These are really fun. I'm not quite sure if I've noticed any differences with using these or not, but I'll pick them out from under my sink every once in a while, maybe like once, once a month or something, but it really does warm on the skin when it's activated. They're really cool. So if you haven't tried these out, these are, these are pretty fun little little masks that you can use. Here is a sample of the Mario Badescu Skincare Chamomile Eye Cream. This was okay, it was pretty greasy for me, so I probably wouldn't purchase that in the future. This is a mask from Perfectly Posh. This is the Detox Body Mud Stripper Mask. That's what it looks like there. This was a nice one too. You could definitely feel it tightening your face. I have some Perfectly Posh products. If you guys would be interested in a giveaway with that, let me know. I've had them around since before I went on my break. So they've just been sitting there waiting to be sent out. So if you guys would be interested in that still, let me know. Uh, but this was a really nice mask and I do suggest it. A couple body products. I have the Avani Dead Sea Cosmetics Spa Nourishing Body Lotion. This was interesting. Um, it had a very, very strange scent, I guess. It was almost like a cologne scent, but the texture of the lotion really wasn't my favorite, so probably would not hunt this down in the future. I have the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan In Shower tanning lotion. You put this on when you're in the shower, you let it sit for three minutes, then you rinse it off and it has a very subtle, it leaves a very subtle tan on your skin. So I like this. I know there's kind of mixed reviews on Sephora's website because unless you're really fair, you're probably not going to notice the difference on your skin, but I liked it. I noticed it and in the summer I would probably pick this up in the future. This is another tanning product. This is the, it's a little mini of the Jergens BB Body Lotion. This one is for light skin types. I usually pick up the medium to deep one just because 
I feel like it gives just a hint more of color. This is a really subtle product. You're not gonna notice a crazy deep dark tan after you use it, but I like it in the summer. So this is a definite repurchase for me. The Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. This is my absolute favorite hairspray ever. If I spray it at the roots, it holds my hair in place if I tease it or something, but it also allows a little bit of movement. It smells absolutely amazing, so I love this hairspray. I do have quite a few in my back stock, but if I ever ran out, I would definitely repurchase it. Here's a Suave Professionals Natural Infusion Ginger and Honeysuckle Anti-Breakage Shampoo. I love this stuff. This is supposed to work as well as Purology or Let's see here, strengthen as well as Purology products. And I absolutely love my Purology hair care products, but this is a really nice drugstore shampoo. So highly recommend this if you're in the market for a new shampoo. And by the way, it smells absolutely amazing too. Then I have another one of these Suave Professionals products here. This is the Keratin Infusion Color Care Dry Shampoo. This one's for color treated hair. Now, I have to say, some of the dry shampoos that people rave about, they leave a white cast in my hair. If you have blonde hair or really light brown hair, I really don't feel like it's an issue, but I dye my hair black, so I can't have any white cast left in my hair. And I would say this one and the Chlorine Dry Shampoo are neck and neck in my book, but this is a really nice drugstore alternative. I think it's around $5 at Walmart. Then I had a little sample. I think this came from Birchbox. This is the Bumble and Bumble. BB Repair Blow Dry. It's a serum in cream. It's supposed to repair your hair when you blow dry it. This was a really nice sample. I would consider picking this up in the future. I think Sephora carries Bumble and Bumble products. Then I have a little mini of this Agave Healing Oil Treatment. I thought this was so-so. I definitely wouldn't purchase this in the future. I have probably three or four hair oils that I'm going through at the moment, so there's no need for me to buy one. I have two hair dyes here. This first one, this is the Feria Midnight Collection in Cool Soft Black. M31, so that's what it looks like there. Um, it's almost one of those blue-black kind of hair dyes, but it was decent. I feel like this one washed out a little bit sooner than I would have preferred, especially for being a permanent hair dye, but meh. And then I also had this one from Revlon. These are under $3 at Walmart. This is in number 11, soft black. And that's just what I've been using on my hair recently. So I really like these. I can do my whole head, like all of my hair for under six bucks. And I can just buy one of these to do the roots for a touch up. I have a little mini hair conditioner here from Davines, I believe is how you pronounce it. I think this came in a birch box. This is the Menu conditioner. Um, it was supposed to be for color treated hair. I don't know. It was decent, but I probably wouldn't pick it up off the birch box website. So, and finally, I have two candles here. This first one, well, they're both from Walmart. These are the Better Homes candles. They look identical to the Bath and Body Works ones. This one had some issues burning at the very last, I would say, half an inch or so, maybe an inch. It got really sooty and black. This was in French Country Vanilla. I probably wouldn't pick this one up again in the future. It had a really subtle scent. I couldn't really smell it, and I was in the same room as it, so I would pass on it in the future. But this one, on the other hand, this is Soft Cashmere Amber. This is one of my favorite scents from the Better Homes wax line, so I would definitely pick this one up again. But anyway, that is it for me. Those are all my empties. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.